Hi, my name is Bob Crosley, and today I want to show you how to create a privilege elevation rule with privilege authority. To create a new rule, um, all rules are tied to group policy objects. You say I've created a test GPO on my domain, and I'm going to create a new rule. This rule is going to let users who don't have admin privileges change the time zone on their laptops when they travel. Um, for some reason, Microsoft requires that you be an admin to do that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and create a rule that bypasses those, ad that elevates the uh, date and time control panel to admin rights. So I'm just going to give it a name, change the time zone, and I can give it a, a description so it's easier when I have a lot of rules to see what it's going to do. Allow laptop users. Everything is done completely as a wizard, so I just click Next. And this is an uh, executable rule, so I'm going to enter a path. So I've entered the path and the arguments that I need to, um, that I need to pass to uh, elevate the, the, the uh, time, date and time control panel. I click Next. Now I can pick the user account or the security group um, that I want to run the process under. Uh, the most obvious one to do is just to use built-in administrators, and you click the first button. Now, the next thing I want to do is use validation logic to target this rule. Um, the requirements to uh, elevate the time zone or the date and time control panel are different between Windows XP and Vista and Windows 7. So this is an XP rule. And the last thing I want to do is, is possibly narrow down who the rule applies to. So, for example, um, I know in my organization the folks with laptops that do most of the traveling are field sales. So I'm going to add a requirement that this will only apply to those computers in the field sales computer group. Once I've done that, all I have to do is click Finish and save the rule, and it's ready to go. Uh, at this point, any machine that receives the test GPO1 group policy object that is in the field sales group and running Windows XP will have this rule applied to it. So the next time the user wants to change the time zone, they will be able to go ahead and do that. That's all there is to creating a rule of privilege authority. Uh, thank you, and have a good day.